Hey Aquarius, it's about that time for your love reading, it's about that time. So this video is going to be for my Aquarius viewers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, definitely make sure you check out your other placements. I have all videos up except Pisces. Pisces will be the last sign to do, per usual, because they are the last of the Zodiac. So, this reading is going to be regarding your love interests, whether you guys are currently connected or separated. If you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, um, which is my website. And the service that I'm going to do for you guys in this reading would be the Let's Chat About Love service. There's two different kinds. The one that I'm doing is the Involved. There's one called Separation. So if you want to book your reading, choose whichever one would be best for you. But I'm going to dive right into your reading. Enough talking. So my Aquarius viewers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, who is your love interest first off? Who is this person? My Aquarius viewers, who is your love interest? Oh, somebody that you're always fighting with? The Tower card. Somebody that is a lot of drama, a lot of drama here, a lot of fighting and arguing, disagreements, a lot of back and forth. But the star card, it's Aquarius energy, but the star card could represent your person being very popular. They could be in the spotlight. They could be, um, you know, just simply have like a lot of followers on social media, a social media influencer, an artist, something about they're very popular. Whether it be they're popular in the community, popular on social media, or once again, they're in the spotlight in some way or form. But this is definitely somebody that you tend to argue a lot with. You tend to go back and forth with. It's like you want peace with them with the star card. You want peace with them, but it just keeps on ending up being the tower card. A lot of drama, a lot of chaos. Tell me more about this love connection. Oh, a card flew. Knight of Swords reversed. You guys don't know how to communicate with one another. Y'all communication skills with one another is very shitty. One more card. What's going on in this connection? Yeah, and then the Ace of Swords. Yeah, y'all communication is really bad with one another. I feel like instead of talking things out, you guys jump right into disrespect, into fighting, into arguing, into low blows, into disrespect. It's like instead of talking things out, y'all just jump into just hurting one another verbally, possibly even physically. Well, damn. One thing about it, though, I can say with the Aquarius readings, your readings be a tad bit crazy. I don't know what it is, if it's the collective or if it's, you know, just my subscribers, my viewers, energy that I'm tapping into. Your readings be a little all over the place. Okay, so Aquarius, what is your energy towards your love interest and the love connection that you two share? What is your energy towards your love interest? My Aquarius viewers. You have the Chariot, Sagittarius Energy, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you give this person a lot. I feel like you want things to last with this person. You want to continue moving forward with this person. I feel like you give this connection a lot. But you feel like it's like all that you give, all that you do with the Queen of Pentacles, it still ends up the Five of Wands. Arguments, fighting, back and forth. Like with the Queen of Pentacles, I see that you provide this person stability, whether it's financial stability, mental stability, emotional stability. You provide this person stability, or at least you try to, but it just keeps resulting in the Five of Wands. It's like no matter what you do, it just keeps on being chaos and fighting. Even with the Chariot, you may be thinking about moving on instead of moving forward with them. What else is my Aquarius viewers' energy towards their love interest? Refocus. Signs. You may be seeing 555 a lot. You may be seeing angel numbers a lot. I feel like your spiritual team is trying to refocus your mind and energy onto yourself. I feel like you've given this connection so much of yourself that your spiritual team is literally trying to give you no choice but to begin focusing on yourself and putting that time and energy and possibly even money into yourself. Like I see you've given just a lot to this person and whether they're grateful or not, 
your spiritual team wants you to refocus the energy onto yourself. <clears throat> hmm. What is the mutual energy between them two? What is the mutual energy between them two? <laughs> you guys both feel like one another is a burden. You both know that the communication sucks. Y'all both know the communication sucks. Y'all both know y'all have to work on the communication. But with that Ten of Wands, I see the both of you feel as if one another is a burden. It's just stressful. It's like the connection itself is just a big ass weight on y'all shoulders. Communicating is a big weight on y'all shoulders. Like I feel like the both of you don't really know how to speak to one another. There's love here, but y'all don't know how to speak to one another. It's just a lot of unnecessary stress. What else is the mutual energy between them two? You guys just feel one another is stressful, plain and simple. Damn, we have release and start fresh. So the both of you are beginning to think like, maybe I should end this. The both of you are feeling that way. Maybe I should just walk away. Maybe I should just end this all together, permanently, for good. You guys are starting to second guess if this connection is worth fighting for. Damn. For the both of y'all to be feeling that way, sheesh, maybe it's not worth fighting for. All right, my Aquarius viewers, their love interest. What is their love interest energy towards them and the connection they share? My Aquarius viewers, what is their love interest energy towards them and the connection they share? Cleo, uh-uh. Stop. The Empress. King of Pentacles reverse. One more card. Ace of Wands. So your love interest feels as if you would be beneficial to their future. You'll be beneficial to their future, to their finances, so that they, for the things that they want for their self, for their goals. Like they see you as someone who's an asset or they see you as someone who's very beneficial for them. But that's the thing with this King of Pentacles in reverse. They're thinking all about their self and how this connection will be beneficial for them. Not you, not, you know, y'all kids, if y'all have any, or the kids y'all may have or may not have in the future. Like, they're not really looking at the bigger picture outside of their self. They're only worried about their self. Like, your love interest is literally looking at you like, okay, well, maybe I should just continue this connection. Yeah, I do love them, but really, they're more beneficial for me. You're beneficial to them. What else is my Aquarius viewers? Love interest energy towards my Aquarius viewers and the love connection they share. What else is their energy towards them? Summer in reverse. Something about the summer happened. Summer in reverse. Something about this in the summer, it really solidified how they're feeling right now. And then crossroads in reverse. So this person, they've made their mind up already. You're someone that's beneficial to them. They don't really care about having children. They don't really care about, you know, getting married. They don't really care about a long-term commitment for you. You are beneficial to them financially in some way or form. It could be you giving them money. It could be you taking care of the bills. It could be them leeching off of you. It could be you guys are business partners and you do majority of the work. I don't know exactly what it is, but something about you is beneficial to them financially. So they don't really care about an actual relationship. They don't really care about love. If that makes sense. To them, this isn't love. This is like a business relationship. And something about the summer made, made it made them um made it make up their mind about it like it solidified it for them like okay yeah i'm only going to use them for this this and that i'm only going to keep them in my life because they're beneficial 
It could be this past summer. It could be last summer. You know, take what resonates with what doesn't. Summer is in reverse, so it could have been any other season, like spring, fall, winter. <clears throat> All right, well, my Aquarius love interest, what is their near future action towards my Aquarius viewers for the rest of January? What is their near future actions? Seven of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Telling me they're focused on their future. Once again, something about this person is in the spotlight. Maybe like they want to be a model, an, an artist, a rapper, a singer, social media influencer, a TikTok influencer. Something about them. They want to be in the spotlight or they already have some type of reputation, whether it's good or bad. But they're thinking about their future. They're thinking about how they can invest in their future. Clarification on the Knight of Swords reverse. I see the arguments and the disagreements is just going to continue. I see it's just going to continue. I honestly, not going to lie. I see this person saying the truth. When you guys argue, like the things that they're thinking, that they think about before bed, that they think about throughout the day, like things that they actually feel about you and that they think of all the time about you, the negative things, when you guys are arguing, they're going to share that. And that's truly how they feel. They won't say it when things are good, but they'll say it when they're angry or when things are bad. Goodness gracious. I don't like this person for you at all, Aquarius. Alright, well, what's my Aquarius viewers' advice regarding this love connection? What is their advice? This reading was pretty quick, but it's because it's straight to the point. What is their advice, my Aquarius viewers? What is their advice regarding this love connection? Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with impeccability of the word, all of our relationships would change. There will be no wars, no violence, no misunderstandings. See, I'm telling you, you guys are very like abusive to one another, whether it's verbally, emotionally, physically, and it's because of the way that y'all communicate. Like when y'all argue, it gets pretty bad. I can see that. It's obvious. It gets pretty bad. So work on communicating. Open and clear. But this is the end of y'all reading. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. The reading that I just did for you guys is the Let's Chat About Love Service with Involved in the Parentheses on my website. I also have a second version for the ones that's in separation. So make sure you check both of those out if you'd like. But have a great day, great night whenever you see this, and I will see you guys in the next video.